Hello and welcome to the Thursday, March 30th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. One thing we love is if you send us malware that you have issues reverse analyzing. And we had a reader, Martin, uh, send us such a sample earlier uh, today. And did he took a look at it and found that, well, it was uh, an Excel spreadsheet and it did have malicious content, but that malicious content was spread over multiple uh, streams. So did he is going over how to extract the relevant streams by using the JSON output format of his tools and then how to extract respective streams from the file. And uh, to accomplish that, Didier also on the fly made a quick update to one of his tools that allows you to easily save these multiple streams in just one command. More details about all the different Python tools that he used from his arsenal can be found in the diary from Wednesday. Well, and bad news for you if you're using the 3CX voice over IP solution. The 3CX desktop app, which is their voice over IP phone, apparently got compromised and includes malicious code. At this point, uh, multiple antivirus solutions are flagging the compromised uh, binary. As part of this uh, binary, attackers will be able to execute arbitrary commands on systems running uh, the affected version of the 3CX desktop app. Both Windows and Mac versions of the application are affected. CrowdStrike has a write-up with some indicators of compromise, like uh, domains and such, that the tool is connecting to, they associate this activity with a North Korean threat group. And please do not follow the advice that I've seen in some forums where they're suggesting that you just essentially exclude this particular application from antivirus scanning. These are not false positives as some people initially believed. As this application is legitimately signed by a 3CX certificate issued by DigiCert, you should assume that 3CX has been compromised and other software may be at risk here as well. So definitely do not download any new versions until you hear some official word from 3CX. Other than some Initial sort of communication with users uh, in the forums haven't seen any sort of official word yet from 3CX about the nature of this compromise. Well, and talking about false positives, uh, Microsoft Defender today confused security departments by alerting them that users went to malicious URLs, even though those URLs were anything but malicious. Apparently, particular zoom.us URLs uh, were affected by these false positives. Microsoft just generically states that uh, they are aware of legitimate URLs triggering alerts. And that's really all that happened here. You will see alerts uh, showing up uh, in your console. However, users are not actually blocked from visiting these URLs. So there shouldn't really sort of be any direct impact in blocking users from uh, Zoom meetings or the like that they needed to connect to. And if you're using IBM Aspera, which is uh, their proprietary file exchange uh, protocol, uh, make sure you're patched the back end of January IBM did patch CVE 2022-47986. Uh, this is an unauthenticated YAML deserialization vulnerability, can lead to arbitrary code execution, CFSS score of 9.8. This vulnerability is now being exploited uh, to install a ransomware. So absolutely make sure that you have uh, this vulnerability patched or at least the systems isolated so they can't directly be reached. A proof of concept exploit has been released early February, so no surprise to see this exploited. 
And if you're interested in patching vulnerabilities before they are exploited, uh, then uh, take a look at your QNAP devices. Uh, QNAP did uh, publish uh, some updates here, mostly for sudo flaw, so nothing really overly uh, critical, but uh, still something you probably want to address. CVE 2023-22. 2809. This is this uh, sudo policy uh, bypass, which essentially allows a uh, privilege escalation using sudo edit. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.